Okay. Um, this has something to do with what I'm going to say, so I'm just going to add it to all of it. I just went to my mother's because I had to. I just had to. Oh, uh, it was fun. So I had to go to my mother's, and I was like, I felt, I told her, I was like, I feel like nobody takes me seriously. I, I was like, I'm so fucking smart. So smart. So smart. And I know so much. And I swear to God, I'm going to write a book. I already had, I already have it all planned out. And it's like, it's all coming together. Even if I do little pieces of each, it's coming together. Like everything. And it's like, I'm going to be bit, like, I know it. Because I know, I know me. And I know, and it's exciting, and it's like, you know you're going to be big, and it's to help, it's for me to help people. It's not for me to be a fucking celebrity or anything, like, I don't give a shit about that. It's, it's like a therapy, like, that I made up, and it's involving so much, and it's so different, and it's so different. Like, it has to do, like, some of it, I, I, in some of it, I can incorporate demons, <laughs> like, in a good way so you have no idea um that's separate actually that is separate but just <laughs> it's different I'm different than people I've already made up my own therapy and I've already done but anyways it's like so annoying because I'm like mom I was like nobody takes me seriously because I'm pretty and I was like, you know, I'm telling Jason, the neighbor there too. And I'm like, because he was telling me something about Facebook and for his thing. And um, I love Jason. I've known him for freaking over 20 years. I've known him since I was 12. And he's 10 years older than me. It's so crazy. Over 20 years, man. So I've known him since I was 12. It's so, like 24 years. <laughs> it's so crazy. Anyways, so... um. I was like, nobody takes me seriously. And he, Jason was, we were talking about like deep shit. And he's like, we got to do a, po a broad, a podcast. And I was like, right? Nobody thinks that I would say the things that I would say. Because I met so many people, guys. I met so many people that I've talked to. And after I'm done talking and they leave or whatever, I'm, they're always like, I would have never thought that this is how it would be hanging out or who you were. And I'm like, right, that sucks. He's like, it does, cause you're just hot. Like, I just wanted to hang out with you cause you were hot. And then you changed the whole entire fucking dynamic. It's like, yeah, cause I don't wanna fuck you. <laughs> like, regardless, I don't wanna fuck anybody. And it's not because of anybody else because it's cause I don't want to. And it's been like that for a very long time, but it's been like that for a person. And it's not like that for that person anymore. Like, it's for me. It was for me anyways, because I was getting out of a um, sex addiction. So, it wasn't all about him. But, like, I felt like if I did, I would cheat on him. And I'm very loyal. And I dated for almost three years. November would be three years. Well, I... No, it it's, was earlier than December, but I go by a receipt. So, I just say November 15th. But anyways, like, so... I'm looking at her. And I'm like, I told, like, when I tell people I'm going to school, and she's like, I was like, nobody fucking took me seriously. I was like, it's hard. Well, it's not hard. I was like, it's more than you think it is. There's, like, a bunch of modules. You have to watch, like, 45-minute videos. You have to answer questions. You have to write down notes. Like, I'm literally in school learning something incredible. And it's like, nobody was taking me seriously. Nobody. And even if I did something on YouTube or whatever, nobody would take me seriously. It's like, oh, she's just hot. Like, I've noticed, and it's sad, that I will have more views, more comments, and more likes on my pictures rather than my, like, videos that I do to try to help people. And it's sad. It's sad. Like, and I don't know if any girl would actually care about this. Or if they would actually, like, I don't. I'm not gonna say I don't want them because you know it's nice but I don't want them because of needing popularity or anything like that like I just had I've done this for people when I used to do plenty of fish too um 
I just had somebody on Snapchat. Like, and that's the thing. Like, everybody messages me, and I, I don't want to talk to you. Not because of that, but because I don't do small talk. I don't do, hey, you want to fucking smoke. I don't smoke weed. I don't do, I don't care if people, other people do. But it's like, I'm not small chit-chat. I'm depth. And nobody would think that. And it's like, I don't want to talk to you. Like, I just don't. So on Snapchat, I have like a million messages that I have not opened. And um, so I was at Walgreens and I had to wait for a while. And I was like, eh. <laughs> let's see. So I only really opened the ones that had like pictures because I don't want to talk to anybody. Um, so yeah. But there was this one person. I don't know why I opened him. I just did. And it was a talking one. And he asked if, you know, I was interested in having a serious sugar daddy relationship and I would get $3,000 every week and this and that. And I would be like, hell yeah, but like, I don't wanna fuck. Like, that's the thing, I don't wanna fuck. So, and I'm so busy and all that and creating more than anybody would even know and I didn't do this for so long and I let myself be held back for a guy I'm so, I forgive myself though because I didn't know any better but as soon as I learned as soon as it was over as soon as it was over I was like Bethany bam you remember who you were before all of this bullshit all of the other bullshit so anyways I'm like, mom, you're not, nobody takes me seriously because I'm hot. And I was like, and I'm not going to go around in sweats and shit, like, in, in big sweatshirts. Like, I can't help that I'm pretty. And I'm not going to not look pretty because I don't want people to hit on me. So, fuck that. So, okay. So, again, I was like, mom, nobody takes me seriously. And she had a certain face on her face. And I was like, you didn't. I know you didn't. I know you didn't. Matt didn't. Dawson didn't. Nobody took me seriously except for Ashley. Like, at, that's it. She messages me and asks me how things are, like, you know, whatever. She cares. That's the only person that, only person. And I told other friends, and they were, like, weird about it. I don't, I have my theories on why. They're not going to say them. But nobody took me seriously on this. Nobody takes me seriously on the things I say. And then they figure it out from Joe Dispenza or Marissa Peer or somebody else and it's like I have been telling you this for fucking years but you don't take me seriously and so my mom was like well I just and I looked at her I was like you didn't you didn't and I also know that you didn't because when I said it you had a certain face I know you didn't take me seriously and so um you know, she was like, well, you know, you've done certificate things. And this is still a certificate thing. But it's like, <laughs> a lot. Um, a lot. A lot. And I didn't even realize that you have questions. So I did like, <laughs> three, I did so much. And then I was like, there's questions. I already write down notes in the video. Like, they're like a half hour long. I already know this stuff. But you learn more. But like, I already know it. Like, Mm. Mm. anyways so I looked at her and I said that and she was like you know whatever and I was like but why didn't you ask like it was just like oh Bethany is doing this like blah like I was like why didn't you ask about it like why weren't you even interested in what your daughter was doing and so you know we talked about it we talked about a lot of things um cause I do certain things and I'm changing that mindset but it's like a bitch thing and I know I do it, and I know for a long time that I've done it, but I didn't care, I guess. I don't know. But, um, I had, I even, like, I did it, and then she responded, and I'm like, okay, I'm sorry, I'm really changing my mindset on that, but normally I would do that. And then I had to explain to her why I would, and whatever. So that was healed. Um, my mom's awesome with healing, like, she really is. Plus, she did psychology in school, so she'll know, like, understand things. But she's good with it. Some of the things she's like, you know, like sometimes everybody's uncomfortable and you have to fucking deal with it. It's life. Um, face it. It's either fear, like you can do fuck everything and run. Or you can do like face, what is it? Face everything and 
I don't know what the other one is. I forget. Um, because I always do the fuck everything and run. <laughs> Face everything and whatever R is. I don't know what R is. Um, but it's face everything and reset or something. I don't know. So, my point is what I'm getting at. You reflect. People reflect to you who you are, trigger you, and show you something within yourself that needs to be healed. Other people will blame the other person for how they feel and be like, uh, I don't, I feel like this because you don't believe in me. So when I left, I got in my car and I was like, do I take myself seriously or not? Am I taking school seriously? Am I taking this breakup seriously? Am I taking anything? Those are like two, the two big things right now. I was like, I was, am I taking like anything? Like I can't think of anything else because those are like the big things. But it's like, do you take yourself seriously? Or do you, like, do you believe in yourself? Do you believe that you will succeed in what you're building for yourself right now? Or do you just uh, want something to do? And I know what I'm doing, so I know I would still get, a, like, a diploma certificate out of it. Like, I already know. <laughs> like, regardless. But it's like, taking it seriously is more of believing in yourself and growing as a person and growing your your self-worth and growing your confidence and going out there and being like fuck you I can do this I don't need you I don't need that job I can I can start over I can build my own foundation I can be a good parent like you got an addiction I can I can come out better like than somebody else was. You know what I mean? Not to compare. You do never, never compare yourself to anyone. Never, never, never. Those are bad examples. I'm sorry. But people get them better when I use them. But don't judge. I mean, yourself. Never compare. Because who you are right now is who you're supposed to be. That's how God made you. Where you are right now is exactly where you need to be. Exactly. There's just the t the the things to have you grow and it's like are you gonna do it like are you gonna believe that if you do it that God will give you your blessings and you'll be all right because <laughs> that's kind of what I'm on right now like a wave of my I know my blessings are coming they're they're already with me like but I know they're gonna be fucking bigger I know it I know it because I believe in God or I believe in supernatural, but I also believe in myself that I can do it because he gave me those characteristics on being able to. So he doesn't give you anything and he doesn't give you what you want. He doesn't give you your big blessings unless you build your character. Because if you're not in a certain way and, and you get your blessing, you're gonna fuck it up. I did it. I did it with my relationship. Like, it, it's different. That relationship is different. And I'm gonna use that relationship a lot in my videos. And I'm gonna do like a limerence. Like, I'm just, I have so much I'm gonna do. Like, yesterday I was like, bam, 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 bam. And I had so many ideas. And I was like, and I can do this. I was like, fuck yeah. But, uh huh. But, anyways, like, I'm gonna use it because it's one of the most. <laughs> impactful things that I've ever gone through in my entire life and that is what made me grow into this from not knowing my worth like legit taking fucking shit like oh my god you have no fucking clue but I was like fuck you so when he was doing whatever I was growing I was learning I was setting myself up for success and I was trying to have him come with me and build it with me and build an empire and grow with me and create with me. Nope. All right. I'll do it by myself then. <laughs> and I did, you know, and I think when he saw me, 
because it, it would be so long between things when we saw each other. I think when he would see me, and I know he was intimidated by me, but, and so that's also why you don't, it, it's a fear of intimacy. Like, I get it. You know what I mean? Like, I get why he was the way he was. It's okay. And that scares him too. And that's another thing. Like, I, I don't know, I love him fucking so much, but it didn't work out. So, um, and I can understand that and not be mad at him. Um, but the point is, is that it's like, do you believe in yourself? That's what it comes down to. Like, people are gonna show you how you feel about yourself. And I've always been, like, hot. <laughs> I've always been hot. <laughs> No, like that's been like what people pay attention to when it comes to me nobody listens to what I say and it's like so important it's so helpful and it's like nope. I'm gonna get glasses fake glasses because when I was wearing those the other day <laughs> I felt like I was like <laughs> being listened to um, but plus I can manifest it regardless and I know how I fucking know how I'm good what is it? There's a word. Like, I'm something. I don't know. But, it's just annoying. Because I can change so many people's lives. And you have no idea how powerful. Oh my god, I have so many. And I'm not conceited. At all. By all means. At all. It's so weird because, and I'd rather make a different video so people actually hear this. But, hold on.